Okay, I look like this this morning and you have to rock with it. <laughs> this is what happens. This is what happens when you, you know, wash your hair, don't dry it properly, go to sleep. Ah, it's not that bad. Okay, well, let's start. Hello everyone, my name is Barbara and I'm a Polish girl who lives in Ireland and likes in it. And today I have a finished object for you and actually four finished objects, but let's count as one because they are amazing. Each of them takes me two hours to knit. Maybe less. Right, you're seeing it today, which is Black Friday weekend and everyone goes on sale. So I thought that why not is to show you a free pattern with a free tutorial down below links, obviously, if you want to check it out and do it yourself. So let's see what kind of hats I've knitted. Okay, so let's start. What kind of tools I used? Now, I used two bags because the yarn I'm using, it's quite a bulky yarn. Will we classify it as bulky? Hmm. In 100 grams, 90 meters, which is 98 yards. I was going somewhere, I was going for an amazing uh, evening, well, actually a whole day, uh, listening to an amazing woman, and I thought, what's an opportunity to knit during that time. I took two bags, both handmade bags by Diane, so links down below, Canadian sewist, and I have obviously information that I have a hat over here. Yarn. As you can see, I still have some left over, so I'm not using all of it. And I knitted, this hat is actually in a few sizes and you can modify it yourself. A few seconds about that in the moment. So over here, some leftovers. Probably I would sneak in to have a pom-pom, like with some leftovers, maybe with two, or I could probably go with one, oh, I'm not sure. Uh, but if you're a pom-pom lover, you can obviously put a pom-pom over here. I have a fake pom-pom somewhere. So what do you think, how it would look with the pom-pom? Do you like it better? Either way, it is really nice without a pom-pom too. The yarn. One time I got a load of these, which is drops and this mix. Mix because of the color. So now you have everything on the screen in regards yardage and so on and so on, how many meters you have to. The colors I use, I will try to find which one is which because unfortunately I mix things up. Okay, on the screen you have a number and I'm going to write down what color it is. Then we have another number and a color and another number and a color. What needles I use. The pattern calls for seven millimeters, which is 10.75 US size. And then nine millimeters, which is US size 13. So we're talking about quite chunky needles. So now here I have seven millimeters because unfortunately I forgot and I just went through and I did all in seven millimeters, which as you can see, you can do it. So here they are. This is interchangeable from Haya Haya's. That's how seven millimeters look. And here how nine millimeters look. Just so you know, if you're looking for the needles like that, uh, check my shop, maybe I have them there. And if you're looking for the cords, always check what kind of size the cord is going to take. There are three sizes of the cords in Haya Haya's. Small, large, and suck, I call it. These, this size will need a large, because of the connectors over here. Because of the connectors. This thing, not about the length. Not only I like Haya Haya's because they're sharp. Well, this is the sharp Haya Haya's. You can get regular ones too, but also they have information of them on them. So I love it so much. So check the links down below, pouches, needles, 
hopefully I have them, but no worries. If you're following the pattern and you're thinking of taking a different yarn, different thickness and different needles, you can go for it. Let me know, do you want a longer video about what I do when I'm knitting hats? I normally like to do four inches negative ease for hats. That way I like the fitting of them. Uh, so you can do the same thing too. Maybe next time I'm going to tell you more about how to do it, I think. At least how I do it. I hope you like this one. It's not a tutorial, but if you're looking for a tutorial, I have a tutorial for you. So check the link down below. I hope you like the hats. Let me know with what color you think I like the best. Uh, I have my own actually version of it. So uh, let me show you. I think I've been wearing it for a year. In regard to the sweater and maybe the shawl, because I think that's all you can see over here. Um, I'll put links down below what they are. If you're interested, check my finished objects video, I'll tell you all. And let me show you my my own hat. And here's my own one, it's a dusty pink, the same thing, the same drops alpaca. So now this one I knit it using I think 45 stitches. Just this one I used 50 stitches. These three I used 55 stitches. So <laughs> you could see the difference. But as you can see, I was able to fit into it. Remember just bigger needles, thicker yarn, it's gives you different sizes, even by one stitch. <laughs> okay, that's it. Short, sweet, see the next one. The next one's going to be interested in one, and maybe kinda not related to knitting. Oh, if you have anything on your needles, please use hashtag knitting I love. Show me what you're knitting. Don't forget to join uh, our cows, which is knitting, crocheting, make along, and knit a hat cow. All links down below. See ya. No. As you can see, I put it with the tag and I'm going to leave it for 15 minutes. Take that out, put another one in. Actually, I put two gray ones. I'm going to press 15 minutes and let's 